Well, hello everybody. Another little TP update here. I've been out here uh, cleaning up. Kind of redone my fire pit out front. And uh, I got it set up. Got my coffee pot, my Dutch oven, cast iron skillet, and little boiler there. And uh, of course, Zena getting into everything. kind of straightened it up on the outside I got the flap well flap is just kind of flopped over right now I didn't roll it up I just I wasn't gonna spend that much time down here but I don't know if you can see it but there is smoke coming out of the top of it <laughs> I did uh, dig a little fire pit in it and uh, build a little fire. Not a very really big one. Finally got my ladder out of here too. Just a little smoke about uh, head high or so. But the biggest part of it rises and goes out the top. See, it's a little bit hazy in here, but not, not much. Like I say, it's not really a big fire. I gotta get me some rocks in here and line it. I got some tape now to fix all the holes in it. Some industrial duct tape my brother gave me. So... We'll get that done as soon as, well, we got some rain and stuff coming up. But, so far, so good. <laughs> Tina says she likes it. Oh, God, I come in here and sit down against me. Wasn't really cool enough for a fire today, but... I dug that little fire pit or started it, made sure where I wanted it, and dug it out and said, ah, right, what the heck, let's build a little fire in it. Don't be licking the camera. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get up back out here. Yeah, now she thinks she got to chew my legs. Oh! She's full of herself. Yep. Got to all this out here kind of situated. Of course, hammock and tarp still up. I ain't even started on putting up the little TP yet. Or back up. Still gonna put it up. Tarp heated up and I got stretched it up pretty good. I got inside and put a ratchet strap on it and hooked in like the garment holes and winched that joker, joker up with it being staked down to all the poles and all the way around. I put some I put some pretty good tension in it. Will you quit chewing on my legs? <laughs> Let's see if I, can, I don't know if I can set this thing down here. We quit. I don't need no help from the peanut gallery. I'll try and prop this camera up here. I didn't bring a tripod again. Well, I know y'all gonna get busy trying to fuck all this. Maybe. <laughs> kind of looks like you can see it a little bit. Can you stop it? I can see I just had that flopped over. Look what it does. It rolls up. And I got a hook. 
boot right here. Uh -huh. There we go. Now, that's the way it's supposed to be. Like it. <coughs> and just and let the flap back down when you want to close it. <coughs> but I got a, putting another flap on the inside that'll be fastened at the bottom and go up about halfway of that door that I can raise and and sh and lock off to keep her inside at night. She can push that flap open and come out with coats and everything around here. They uh, I don't need knobs for fleas, if you don't mind. I don't want her to jump up and take off, and I don't want to have to tire, you know, restrainer in there like it. But uh, I'm gonna put that flap on the inside, and she won't be able to push it through to uh, come out and run off, chase something that she shouldn't ought to be chasing. There's that big ratchet strap I used to stretch that tarp up with and get the slack out of it. And the fire pit here, oh, oh, let me see if I can do this without taking everything off. Set the coffee pot over there. This is a stainless steel grill rack that a friend gave me. So. You know, I had a little fire in there the other day. I still got the ashes raked up. But, uh, yeah, you can just cook on it like that. You know, hang your pots here. And I got the cute little pot hangers with the notches in it where you can raise and lower your that Dutch oven to cook or billy can or whatever you decide to put on it. And then I got a smaller one here that's got a hook in it right there at my finger that will hang it up high like you just want to keep it warm or something and i've been hauling down a few things you know dried beans and rice and salt pepper and stuff and that sets back on there like it and the coffee pot sets back right there <coughs> so anyhow yeah, now you decide to calm down. She says, it's only for a minute, Pop, and I'll be up and at it again. Yep, she's looking for something to get into right now. Where's it at? Where's it at? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, man. Little piece of that tarp over my wood pile there and got it covered and kind of in the dry. My border logs laid back out around it where I kind of keep this in here clean and that out there I'll just yeah, it's pine thicket so you know what else can you expect it's going to have a blanket of pine straw like carpet soft to walk on under your feet even barefooted Yep, that little fire is all but gone out now. But, there it is. There's the update. That's a, some of my supplies I got over there. Some water and the beans and some knives and utensils and things I throwed in there. Hey, a few can of pork and beans over there too. And that rice. Got the rest of my stuff kind of hung up around on the walls of it for the time being. Trying to keep everything as much as I can out of the floor because I still got that big old stump right there to cut out and dig up. And a couple of snags. But that's where we got to. That's where it's at. 
and I'll I'm sure I'll do quite a few videos down here at my base camp now I'm spending some nights down here when I get that flap fixed where she don't come be bopping out when I don't want her to and uh well y'all just stay tuned don't forget to like subscribe share comment get down there and tell me something you know right on down there where you can oh write good stuff bad stuff thumbs up thumbs down you know all that give it a try you might like it see everybody later god bless laters